Imagine waking up here on Christmas morning. Carol's been evicted, his benefits stopped. For now, this is home. I so far served um, three weeks at one mate and other three weeks at other mates. So I got my antidepressants, I, I doze off after 15 minutes, so I'll just have to cope, whatever happens. No one knows for certain how many people are homeless in Britain, but tens of thousands now live in hostels or other temporary accommodation. Staff here struggle to meet the demand. Most people are only three pay packets away from homelessness. I am. Most people these days do not have a cushion of savings like we used to have years ago. We're living from month to month. One mistake, one lost benefit, one redundancy, and before you know it, you've nowhere to live. It's as simple as that. Take Tanya, who came home to find her landlord had changed the locks. She's beaten a drug addiction, but beyond this small room, she's got nowhere to go. What does Christmas mean for you? Well, it don't really mean anything at the moment until we get his own flat. I mean, Christmas isn't anything really until you know where you are. Jimmy, what time did you say that meeting was with housing on Monday? Even the government admits it's a significant challenge. At the shelter, Sadie and her colleagues struggle to organise longer-term accommodation. This is the difficult time of the year, I find, when you're going home to a nice centrally heated house and you haven't managed to house everybody or find everybody exactly what they need. We're doing three things to help reduce homelessness. First of all, strengthen the safety net for those families in difficulties. Secondly, investing over 470 million so councils are better able to deal with the problem locally. And thirdly, of course, is to make sure that we build more affordable homes so we deal with a long-term problem. For now, though, at the shelter, there's work to be done. Every night here, they set out temporary dormitories. Demand for emergency overnight accommodation has more than doubled here, and they fear the situation will simply get worse. JJ won't need a bed tonight. The shelter found him accommodation, and he's training to be a chef. Any people from any walks of life, from multimillionaires to people that are born with nothing and will end with nothing, end up homeless completely. It's, it's a completely different world that no one sees. But it's a world where these people do still care. Tonight, no one will be turned away.